Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another direct to YouTube tonight with special treats for you this time. A brand new game. I, I think it just went full release or full beta, one of the two. Uh, it's on a discount right now on Steam. Anyway, sorry for the lack of the detail, but uh, like today or yesterday. No, I think today. Uh, I saw it on game deals at reddit.com. Uh, the dev posted there. I'm like, hey, let me try it out. This combines Slay the Spire with uh, kind of into the breach positioning game tactics with uh, it's just it's a deck builder with some MMA moves and it's just unique. It's really good. I'm really digging. I played it for a little bit and thought, hey, let me let me bring a quick game uh, game run through uh, so you can see the game mechanics. We will be streaming this. Uh, Thursday night on my Twitch channel at Skojo262. Would love to have you over there. But uh, yeah, so here we go. Let's get into this. Fights in tight spaces. So we're going to go for a new game here. Uh, I'm sure. All right, so uh, there's a little Agent 11 where he gets some information here. Agent 11, sir, we have a number of emerging situations that could do with deal with your skills. Uh, and now you get to select the deck. So we just upgraded to this deck we got far enough in the first scenario where it and unlock this deck but for the interest of gameplay here uh i'm going to stick with the balance deck and see if we can get all the way through the first level here so we're gonna stick with the balance deck this shows you everything that's in the deck right away a bunch of different cards that do a bunch of different things and i think you'll it'll uh, you'll you'll kind of catch on to the gameplay fairly quickly i don't know if these introduce different cards yeah, they do have some different cards. It's more de of a defensive build. We're going to stay with the balance build, uh, what we're used to here. So you can see there's a, a training section. Uh, we have a biker gang, insiders, jade staff, and uh, all the way up to a final mission here that gives uh, members of every gang that you work through. So obviously the first one that you try to unlock or that you try to complete so that you can lock the next one is called the Death's Head Biker Gang. Network of clandestine clubhouses throughout Northern Europe. Thousands of members. The Death's Head Biker Gang have a built-in infrastructure for drug and weapon trafficking across borders and limited scruples when it comes to arming terrorists the world over. So we're going to try to take him out. After the Biker Gang Wars of the 90s, we thought we'd seen the last of the Nordic gangs. But they're back with a network of so-called clubhouses across Scandinavia. We're seeing a massive increase in smuggling operations on northern European borders. Put a stop to it. So here we go. So here's the uh, an overview. This is very a uh, Slay the Spire-esque, where you're picking out the you know your eventual path all the way to the end. There are things along the way. Uh, you can upgrade your cards, get more cards. You can heal yourself. There are random events that may happen. Uh, and there are different fights along the way. So you can see at the top um, where it says mission data on the right, uh, it says uh, mission protect. You actually have to defend somebody who's in there. A lot of the other ones are just straight up fights. And it tells you how many people are involved and how. And as you go, the uh, people you face are more difficult, the enemies. So uh, there are enhancements. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm right above that. Um, we don't have any. We have gain an emergency move card at the start of each fight uh, right at the beginning. This tells you what your health is. We have 40 health out of a maximum of 40. And, 40, and this is the amount of money that we have uh, in gold or whatever they call it here. So uh, let's go to the first fight. As you can see, it's a fight located in the restroom. we got three targets. All of the targets are weakened. We like the sound of that. So basically, here's where, um, you know, positioning is key. Uh, you have to face enemies. Like, these guys are going to attack wherever they're facing. So if we move somewhere around them, if we move behind this guy, he's still going to attack forward. Um, we can, You can move everything around here. Um, and then you can play, you know, the different cards as you see fit. So this is like your mana that you have. Um, three of three. Uh, there is momentum that you gain with the two. And I'll kind of just kind of work through this and, and show you how it show you how it plays. So if you defeat the enemies, um, you get all three, you get another card you can put in your deck. If you complete them within six turns, you get some money. So here's basically how it works. We have three to spend. Uh, there's a range for each one of these cards. So this front kick it has a range of one to two cells. So if I was standing one cell back, I could hit him two cells away. Same thing with the combo finisher. The combo finisher has a three here indicating that you've got to have momentum. Um, you've got to have combinations of other, I'm sorry, you've got to have combo. You've got to have combinations of other attacks before you can play this one. 
So anyway, let's let's just get into it, and I think it'll make total sense. You can also yeet somebody out. If you push them through the doorway, they will die. Um, but let's do a little uh, front kick here. So this is looking, this guy's gonna attack first. He's gonna attack us for six, and his health is 20. And this guy's the same way. So, uh, let's see what we got here. We can only hit them for a max of 12 anyway. All right, so let's boot this guy over. Now we can long strike him. And you can see we have one left, so we can play one more card basically, and we do have an emergency move where we can get out. So here, this shift, we can move past the target or we can just slip away somewhere. These guys can only punch one cell over. So I'm just gonna slip and I'm going to actually Slip right down here. That way nobody can attack us on the next turn. So we're going to end the turn. They're going to advance one cell wherever they want. That guy did too. And uh, and here we are. So that guy's down to 8 health. That guy's at 20. Um, we can push. We could block. Um, but what we want to do is go ahead and kick that guy. He's down to 4. Not much else I can do. We'll go ahead and give him a shove. That'll make it so he can't attack us on the next one. And really nothing else to do here. We'll go ahead and put a block up, just for the heck of it. So when blocked, they'll attack your block, the block first before your health. So we could absorb 16 before it starts eating away at our health. If that makes sense. If you're familiar with, with, with deck builders, you know, a lot of this looks really, really, really common. So Hammer Fist will take him out. Um, do a quick strike on him. Now, we can't smash his head. This is a head smash against a wall or another object. We don't have it, so we can't really use it. But what we could do is counter, or we can step away. And what I'm going to do, actually, is step away. Another enemy is going to enter right here. That's what that red arrow means. He's going to spawn in. And I'm going to go ahead and end the turn. This guy will probably... Yeah, this guy comes over. So now what we want to do is... Quick strike. Should get him down to four, and then uh... Uh, we don't. Oh yeah, we do have blocks. So I'm gonna put a block up, and I'm gonna put a counter. So when he hits us, we're gonna hit him back for eight. So we can absorb 18 damage. He's gonna hit us for six. So we're not gonna take any health damage, and then we're gonna hit him as soon as he hits us. And that's what we're gonna do. And he's out. Now this guy has 20 health. So, look at this. Because we played combos in a row, and you can see the 6 of 10, we have this combo uh, uh, indicator, combo momentum indicator, and that means we can play this card now. Combo finisher, it's going to hit for 20. That would take him out. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. So, we've completed that fight. Uh, we're going to get a new card, and we've got 30, uh, whatever these are, gold. Or those euros. Uh, so we're gonna add a right spin kick to the repertoire. And now we have two choices here. And you can see, if we wanted to get to the gym, the only way we would have we need to go is this way. That's the only way we're gonna get to the gym to get more cards. I'm gonna lay low, and um, uh, all of them are fight. All of them are four. These have weakened targets, these have regular targets, but I like... Actually, I'm going to go alleyway bar, because then we have the option of going to the gym or going to medical. I think that's the better the better play. So let's go to the alleyway up here. So hopefully he started to kind of get the mechanics here. So now they've had, they do have guys that just push. Um... This guy push pushes up to two tiles away, does five damage and a push every time. Uh, this guy too. This guy's got a gun, range attack that deals ten damage. What we can, if we step out of the way and he goes to attack, he will shoot his partner, which is a, a beautiful thing. So let's start getting into this here. Let's quick strike this guy. The guns do the more damage, so I like to whittle them down first. That puts him down to six health, and then um. Two away. So 
So I think what I'll do, they do five damage. So I'm going to move over here. And then I'm going to put a block up for six. So we're not going to take, he's going to hit us, but it's, we're going to absorb it. And hopefully he shoots this guy. Should be what happens. Oh, well, he kicked him and he shot him. So there you go. You see how it works. They're going to attack. So even if their own guy is standing in front of them, they're going to hit him. All right, so that guy's two health. This guy's one health. That guy still has 20. So I think what we do here, and I'm still understanding the gameplay, so by no means um, am I any good at this. We're going to kick this way, take him out. And I think really all we want to do is just move down here and get out of the way and let, let chaos ensue. So what I'm going to do is just make sure my blocker is up. And then I'm just going to slip down one and end my turn. Shot him. That took 10 out. They moved down. This is good. This guy has two, so hopefully we can take this guy out and maybe have this guy shoot the other one dead. Now here, here's a fun one. Here, so here's a head smash. You've got to have an object next to you. Watch this. Oh, and I forgot to show you at the end what you can do. Okay, hang on. Um, you're going to like this at the end of this match. Uh, let's go ahead and... We have enough, so we can go ahead and front kick him. He's two away. Get some damage going on him. And then we could do a hammer fist and an emergency move. Five more damage, an emergency move out of the way. Or we could just get out of the way. I think we just get out of the way. Save our emergency move and see. Oh, he's not. Is he going to be able to shoot him? Maybe he's out of range. We'll see. Oh, he shot him. He's dead. <laughs> there we go. Uh, oh, I don't have push, so I can't get him. If we pushed him out of here, we would we would uh, yeet him out. But so what we'll do is six damage. How many does he have? He has fourteen. So if we do this, now he's down to eight. Mm, really, nothing I can do here, huh? I think what I'll do is I'll put my block in and we'll just we'll slip away, avoid his gunfire, let him move over on us, and then we will uh, head smash him again. <laughs> and that was it. So here's the cool thing you can do after you clear a room. You can uh, show the replay. So watch this. It'll show every move we made in a more fluid action. Matrix, kick, shoot. <laughs> Can we use camera here too? No, we can't. <laughs> this is the best part of the game right here. Look at that. Smash, kick, dodge, shot, go over, kick. <laughs> this is great. The best part of the game. Okay, continue on. Let's go. Uh, throat punch is just not too effective, but it does stun the other person. Let's do that. We can, we can, I like the stun, uh, and ability there. Okay. Um, this is the only place we can go, so we're going to the bar. Four attackers. Now we got helmet, dude. So he's, he's got some blocker ability. He's the biker. He restores five block every turn. We got this guy who all he does is push. We got this guy who pushes, but he, he once per turn, he automatically will attack. So if we shove somebody in front of him, he will push them. So I think what we want to do here is... We don't have enough to really... Let's kick this guy. I'm trying to get to this right here. Little hammer fist. Uh, I think we're going ahead. Oh, uh, we can't. We can't do both. Um, can we push over? We can't. He has 14 left. You know what I want to do? I want to just go ahead and use the emergency move right now, and head smash this guy. No, I thought we had. Oh, it was only 13. He's got one health. All right, we're gonna take some damage then. 
can we push away? He can do two tiles away on his push. He can't attack. So we could move over. He'll push us, but we should be fine. Oh no, we have to we have to push. Okay. Alright, well there we go. That took him out. Alright, TIL. These guys are closing in. So let's go ahead and front kick this jabroni. What's he's got 24. Okay. Long strike. Two tiles, so he won't be able to do anything to us. We have to be right next to him to spin kick, huh? Yeah. So let's... Nothing really we can do. Because if we move, we're going to spend whatever we have and we'll be in range of him. So we're going to end. We're down to 31 health here. All right. Uh, combo finisher 14. So we've got to hit this guy first. So let's throat punch him and stun him. Now let's bash his head against the table. Or we'll kick him. Uh, let's put our blocker up. And let this guy do his thing. Nothing. Took no damage there. It was all block. And then... Uh, can we smash his head? Oh, he still has 25 though. Alright, let's smash his head. <laughs> Um, uh, we got two more plays here. Kick him out of the way a little bit. And then throw up our blockers, and we'll also counter. If he does touch us, we'll counter him. So we got 14 blocks, so we're going to be okay here. Counter. Nice, that took him out. All right, this guy has 30 now that we have to deal with. We're going to throat punch and stun him. So he's going to be stunned for a while. So let's uh, kick him. And then kick him again. He's down to 12, so we'll put our blockers up. Wait for the next turn. And uh, combo finisher. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Bruh. Uh, a move an enemy to any adjacent tile within the playing area. That may not be bad to have. Move him over one. Oh, I forgot to replay. I'm sorry. I forgot to replay. I always forget to hit it. It's all right. Okay, do we want medical or the gym? We're at 31. Do we want to upgrade a card or do we want to go, you know, up to more to full health? Um, I think we go. Let's go to the gym. All right, so the gym... We could buy another card, or we can upgrade cards. I kind of like the idea of upgrading. Some of these low-cost cards... What was it? Not the throat punch, not the grapple... Yeah, like, just this long strike. That goes six to nine. Quick strike goes eight to fourteen. For thirty. That's a good deal. That's a lot more damage. Let's go with that. Okay. Upgraded. And then... Block goes from 6 to 12. Or do we go... Long strike 6 to 9. Step costs nothing. That could be valuable. Alright, let's, let's do that. Step for nothing. Okay. And I think that's about all we can do. We're out of money. Don't have enough money to buy anything else. All right. Uh, onward we go. So now we go to parking. It's a fight. It's got four people. Four enemies. Love the music. All right. So look at this jabroni. He's a welder. Charge up to three tiles and do ten damage. And he... 12 block at the start of every turn. This guy's gonna shoot us from the other side of the bike. This guy's just a biker. He's gonna punch us. He's got short range. And this guy's the pusher. So. Mm, we kind of started off in a bad position here, don't you think? 
We don't really have an attack right away on anybody. We've got to we got to get movement. Uh, yeah, right. we'll take the block regardless. We got to be within one tile of somebody. If we step this way, he's gonna shoot us. If we step this way, we're still in range of him. 10 damage, 10 damage. We did put the block up for six though. Do we step away and just counter? Let's step here. Let's throw counter up. And uh, go. At least we got, oh, he blocked it completely, but he got shot by his friend. So if we leave him, uh, he moved, okay. So now. We could use him to our advantage to shoot him. We just have to bait this guy over a little bit. Well, let's smash his head. Throw a strike on him. Put up our block so we don't take any damage. Oh, and that's spent the energy, so we can't do anything else. I don't think we emergency move yet. Well, actually, he's going to hit us, and he's going to hit us. Actually, let's move here, because then he's going to get shot. Because he, he's the first one to go, so he's going to move over, and then this guy's going to shoot him. That's worth it. That guy stays there. He's going to shoot him again. All right, can we throat punch him? Did he block it? Oh, uh, he pushed me. Hey, even better. All right, front kick for two. Oh, we went back to that square. Um, move in, move any enemy, move enemy to an adjacent tile. And we're good. We want him to get shot, but he's going to move first. So if we move down, he's going to move over and not get shot. We want him to stay there somehow. But then he's going to hit us. This guy's only going to hit us for four, but he's going to push us. But it's going to be after this guy attacks. So I think the play here is... Oh, we could run out of the way. That's the play. Oh, he shot the... He's going to shoot the other guy. Oh, no, he moved instead of shot. Okay, all right, got you. Intelligent AI. I mean, we have to go up one, right? This guy's got push. No, he's just a puncher. Let's go over here. We can long strike him. We can hammer fist him. He's down to 12. Can we push off a of two? We can't. That's all we can do, all right? All right, they're moving in. Actually, this, this is an okay scenario right here. All we have to do is deal with the guy in front of us on this turn. He's got 17 health. He's got 12 plus five. Six and eight is 14. It's not enough, is it? down to seven there we combo finish got him now I don't want to move up because he's gonna get us I'll throw up block and I will actually I'm gonna shift to here because he's looking this way and it's, maybe he'll still get shot and I'll throw my counter up all he did was turn, 
Oh, he, he went out of the way. I was hoping this guy would shoot him, man. Help me out. Help me out. Help me out. Okay, what do you Stunner? He blocked it. Head smash? He's down to 12 health. Kick him? Um... He goes second. I, th I still think it's worth us stepping here and only taking four damage. Oh, he did it automatically. Uh-oh. We're gonna take ten damage. Okay. Quick strike for 14. This guy has 18? Can we get him out here, though? Oh, he pushed us automatically again. He has four left. What do we have left? Nine. We have to move out of the way. We have to get him out. And that's all we can do. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's going to shoot... No, he's going to play before him. He's going to push us and we're going to get shot. Ah. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. We failed the mission. But we go on camera and we're just horrible. <laughs> anyway, that's the first look at this game. I hope you enjoyed the little preview. It's called Fights in Tight Spaces. Uh, we'll be streaming it Thursday night and likely this weekend too, but at the minimum tomorrow night, Thursday night, on our Twitch channel starting right around 6 o'clock Central Time. would love to have you over there. If you enjoy content like this, if you like seeing new games, if you like just having fun and kind of exploring stuff, uh, just let me know. Throw a comment down below. Give me a like. Hit the subscribe button. You know what to do. Thanks for being here, and I hope to see you all again. Thanks for checking out the content on the channel. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a great evening, morning, afternoon, whatever it is in your area. We'll see you again soon. Thanks.